We're talking about the uh, largest driver of ocean dead zones, deforestation, species loss, biodiversity loss, an overwhelmingly huge contributor to, to greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. Australia is currently in the grips of the worst drought in recorded history, with 60% of Queensland and 100% of New South Wales currently being drought declared. Whilst much of the focus has been on the impact of drought on graziers, leading scientists around the world believe that cattle farming may be a major contributor to the drought which is crippling the animal agriculture industry. My name is Scott Wallace. I am an environmental scientist, educator and activist. The collective animal agriculture industry, to put it simply, is an absolute ecological disaster. The impacts um, of animal ag, but in particular the farming of cattle and that form of livestock, is having a profound effect on the environment. For almost a decade now, the United Nations have been urging global consumers to move towards a meat and dairy free diet. So, what's their beef with cattle farming? Here in Queensland in particular, uh, between 2015 and 2016, we've seen some unprecedented uh, rates of land clearing. We had 395,000 hectares of land cleared in that one year. Now surprisingly, the mining sector only accounted for 0.75% of all that land cleared. Uh, the development of settlements only accounted for 0.25% of all that land cleared. The single largest driver of deforestation in Queensland and in fact across Australia um, has been creating pasture for livestock. Here in Australia we have around 25 million cattle with the majority living in Queensland and New South Wales. They're not a native creature and so these hooved ruminants have a massive effect on, on the land itself and lead to you know, all sorts of issues in terms of um, compacting the soil which can also lead to more erosion and runoff. The use of water in cattle farming is extremely intensive. It takes around 15,000 litres of water to produce just one kilo of beef. In comparison, it only takes 322 litres of water to produce the same amount of fruit and veg. Then there's the gas emissions. If we counted all the cattle in the world as a single country, that country would be the third largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world. There seems to be somewhat of a lack of consensus as to how much livestock is contributing to global greenhouse gas emissions. There are some conservative estimates from the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization and they've stated that around 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions uh, can be attributed to livestock. And there's estimates as high as 51% from a group called World Watch Institute. Methane is one of the main uh, greenhouse gases that are, that are coming from, um, from the rearing of livestock. And this, uh, over a shorter period of time, is one of the leading drivers of short-term climate change and also in a longer time scale as well. We've all heard about climate change, but why do we need to worry about it? So climate change uh, is already and will continue to have a profound effect on our global weather systems. Uh, as a result of climate change, we are seeing increase in the intensity and frequency of extreme weather events such as droughts, floods, cyclones, bushfires. So, what can we as consumers do to stop climate change? So the public can definitely have uh, an effect on climate change. It's been, our, it's been the cumulative effect of our individual actions and industry and our consumption that has been driving climate change. So we, as the people, as a collective, have the power to have a positive effect in, in this area. We'd be naive to think that we can address climate change without addressing our diets. The, the quickest, cheapest, most effective way for someone to minimise their climate footprint and general environmental ecological footprint is to adopt a plant-based vegan diet. Everyone needs to eat. So is it time we start rethinking the long-term sustainability of what or who we are eating? Ultimately, it's going to come back around to bite us if we don't change our ways quick smart.